guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. If you are new, my name is Kayla and I post couponing content. So if you are interested in that, definitely subscribe down below and like this video if it ends up helping you out. So today I am at Publix to do my weekly Publix couponing. Now I live in an area that does Wednesday to Tuesday sales so keep that in mind and also my store does half BOGO not true BOGO so buy one get one free sale items at my store bring up half price whereas if you are in a location with true BOGO the first one's going to ring up full price and the second one's going to ring up free if you don't know which type of BOGO that you are you can ask a customer service employee or any other employee they should know so let's get in the store today and go over the best deals of the week we're going to be using some rebate apps including I buy and fetch so links for those will be in the description box down below you definitely are gonna need both of those they're both amazing and the only other thing is I'm also working with a 2 off 10 Publix coupon this week so that just showed up in my Publix app if you have one it should show up um, on your home screen and it also should show up in the wallet section of your app so I'm also gonna be working with that as well so let's get in store and see what we can get for cheap free and a money maker this week we have an amazing deal on lemonade this week. It is on sale for two for four dollars. And we have a dollar printable coupon from coupons.com that'll be linked in the description box down below. And then we also have a one dollar Ibotta rebate. That's gonna make these completely free. And remember again, if you don't already have the Ibotta app, there will be a link in the description box down below. You're gonna get a $10 bonus when you sign up and submit your first offer. So if you submit the offer for the lemonade, you're gonna get a total of $11 back. And my referral code for Ibotta is Y-W-E-K-T-Y-Q. There's also a really great deal on soda this week. So the six pack or eight pack of Pepsi products are buy one, get one free at $6.49. So if you pick up four of them at that buy one, get one free price, it's going to be $12.98 for the four of them. You're going to use the three off four Pepsi multi-pack digital coupon. We also had printables a while back. That will make the four of them just $9.98. That is like around $2.50 per pack, which is a really amazing deal. The late July chips are between $4.79 and $5.09, and they're buy one, get one free this week. So at my store for half BOGO, I'm just going to grab one of the $5.09 variety. That's going to ring up at $2.55. And we have a dollar digital coupon for these late July chips, making them just $1.55 for the $5.09 variety. That's the plain sea salted variety that I wanted to get. This week, the Alpha breakfast sandwiches and burritos are buy one, get one free. At my store, the breakfast sandwiches are priced at $3.49, buy one, get one free. And we have an Ibotta rebate for $3.98 back when you buy two of them. That's greater than the price of the item, so these are going to be a $0.49 cent moneymaker after I bought a rebate for the breakfast sandwiches. And then the breakfast burritos are $2.49, buy one, get one free, and we have $2.68 I bought a rebates, and that will make those a $0.19 cent moneymaker for the two of them. There's also a really good deal on the Dr. Preggers Veggie Burgers. They're buy one, get one free. If your store does half BOGO, you can just pick up one of them for $2.90, down from $5.79. And then we have $2 printable coupons that I will link in the description box down below. That will make these just $0.90. Cents. The My Mochi Fruit Based Ice cream is $5.99, buy one, get one free. So at my store, one of them will bring up $3 at half BOCO. We did used to have a Publix digital coupon, but it is gone now. And then depending on your account, you might have a different value. I bought a rebate. On my account, I had a $1.50 I bought a rebate, making these just $1.50. But if you have a $2 I bought a rebate, these will be just $1. And this would be a great item to pick up if you're trying to hit an I bought a bonus. The Pillsbury Toaster Strudels I just think are a good deal at the buy one get one free price. They're $2.64 regularly priced. At the buy one get one free price they're going to be just $1.32 and I don't think there's any coupons available. Let me know if there are in the comment section down below but I think that's a good deal. No coupons required. The Phage Greek Yogurt is on sale for a dollar this week and we have a 15 cent Phage Yogurt I bought a rebate as well as a 10 cent Any Yogurt I bought a rebate. 
And so that's going to give us a total of 25 cents back on Ibotta, making this just 75 cents, which isn't the best deal. But if you're trying to hit an Ibotta bonus, like the midweek or another one, if we get another one later in the week, I think this would be a great item to pick up because it's cheap and it hits two rebates. The Daya Vegan Cheese is $5.09 regularly priced, and we have a $1.25 Daya Cheese rebate, and we also have a $0.10 cent Any Cheese rebate. So that's going to make this just $3.74, and again, that's not the best deal, but if you're trying to hit an Ibotta rebate bonus, it is a good option. I needed to hit 10 items to get my $5 midweek bonus, and so I was wanting to pick up as many items that were counting for two rebates as possible. The Organic Valley Milk is regularly priced at $6.09 at my store, and if you go to their website, which I'll link down below, and you sign up for their email list, they're going to send you a buy one, get one free coupon, and making it just $6.09 for the two of them, or about $3.05 each for organic milk, which is definitely not bad. I didn't film this, but I also picked up one of the Chobani oat milk that was $4.99 regularly priced, and we have a $1.25. I bought a rebate, which makes it just $3.74, which again is not the best deal, but I wanted to pick up as many I bought a rebates as I possibly could so I could hit my I bought a bonus. And that actually might be the best plant-based milk deal of the week. There's not very many on sale this week. My favorite deal of the week is on the Tenna Pads. They are $2 off on sale, and at my store, the Intimates are regularly priced at $5.39, so they're going to be ringing up for $3.39. I grabbed two of them, totaling $6.78. Now, we still have the Instant Savings Booklet Coupon through June 3rd for $4 off the two of these. So I had the cashier enter in the code, ended up paying just $2.78 for the two of them. But then you can submit to Ibotta for $3 back on each one, getting a total of $6 back. That makes the two of these a $3.22 moneymaker. Another instant savings booklet coupon that ends on June 3rd, we have... For the band-aid so the band-aid the cheapest items at my store were $1.99 for some gauze I grabbed two of them for $3.98 and had the cashier scan the three off two instant savings booklet coupon paying just 98 cents for the two of them but then we have 75 cent printables from coupons.com they are no longer available but if you did print those you can use two of those that will make the two of the band-aids a 52 cent money maker this week, St. Ives Body Wash is on sale for buy one, get one free, down from $2.99. So they should be ringing up as $1.50 each. I looked way back in my emails to see if I had any St. Ives email coupons from Unilever. And back in January, they sent me an email that was from Vaseline. I guess I didn't realize I was on the Vaseline email distribution list. And it basically says, like, we miss you. Here are some coupons. And there are like a ton of Unilever coupons that are linked from that email. And they print as expiring a month from whenever you print them. So although they sent this email to me in January, they're still printing now and they're still printing for like a July 1st expiration date. Included in those coupons is a dollar off anyone's St. Ives. So after using that coupon, these were just 50 cents each. So definitely look back in your emails from January to see if you received this email from Vaseline and you can print dollar off one coupons and get an amazing deal on St. Ives Body Wash. This week, the soft scrub cleaners are also buy one, get one free. At my store for the cleaners, they're $3.59 regularly priced, so they should be ringing up for $1.80 at my store that has half BOGO. And then we do have 75 cent off one printable coupons from the soft scrub website, making them just $1.05 each. I did have a hard time printing those coupons, but if you can get them to print, you can score these for just $1.05. One deal I noticed at my store that I did not see in the ad was the Glade plugs. They're ringing up as buy one, get one free. They're regularly priced $5.99, so they should be ringing up for $3 at that half price. I'm not sure if there's any coupons, but if you do have any, they will be very cheap after coupon. This week, the Reynolds Easy Foil Pants are ringing up as buy one, get one free. At my store, these are $2.29 regularly priced, so for one of them, it should ring up at your store for $1.15. And then we do have $1 digital coupons for these, which will make it just $0.15, cents, which is a really, really great deal. 
Both the One A Day and Flintstones vitamins are 20% off this week as a public sale price. So if you pick up the 60 count One A Day women's or men's vitamin boxes, those are going to be ringing at 20% off for $5.83. We did have printable coupons for $3 off any one one a day, and that will make these just $2.83. The Flintstones vitamins are a little bit more expensive at $7.99. They'll be ringing at 20% off for $6.39. Again, we have $3 printable coupons, or we did. I think they are no longer available. That would make these just $3.39. Check your clearance section. Mine had a ton of vitamins on clearance. These Nature's Bounty Jelly Bean Vitamins, both the kids' varieties and the adult varieties, were marked as two for $14.99. And if you still have the $14.99 back on two, I bought a rebate. These are going to be completely free that I bought a rebate does attach to both the kids' and the adult varieties. I also found other clearance vitamins, including the Ollie Gummies. These were marked at two for $14.19, which would make them $7.10 each. We do have a $3 I bought a rebate on these that would make them just $4.10. And then I also found the Cultural Kids Vitamins. These were marked as two for $14.38, and they should be ringing up at $7.19 individually. And then we have $4 I bought a rebates on the Cultrell vitamins. That would make these just $3.19. So definitely check out your clearance section because mine had a lot of stuff. Okay, so let's go over the Publix receipt. Everything went as planned and all my coupons scanned successfully. And I'm really happy with my total. So the first thing I grabbed was the 10 of pads and they are ringing up for $3.39. They are ringing up as $2 off. I grabbed the Reynolds pan and as you can see here it rang up for $2.29 and it did not ring up for buy one get one free so you'll see later that he corrected the price on that. I grabbed my Daya that was a impulse buy in order to get to my Ibotta bonus. I needed 10 offers to get $5 for the midweek that ends today on Wednesday. The Phage for 10 for $10 for $1 each. That yogurt was also a Ibotta last minute decision because the Daya was counting for its own rebate plus a any cheese rebate and the phage yogurt was counting for its own rebate plus any yogurt rebate then i grabbed the nature's bounty jelly beans which again that was an impulse buy although it was free i only actually got this because i wanted to get the ibotta i got the band-aids that were regularly priced the alpha burritos and breakfast sandwiches that were buy one get one free the saint ives that were buy one get one free the Organic Valley Grass Milk that I had the buy one get one free printable coupon for, the Chobani. This wasn't a great deal because I just had a $1 I bought a rebate and it was $4.99, but again, I wanted to get this due to wanting to get to 10 I bought a rebates. The Lemonade that were $2 each, the Late July Chips that were buy one get one free, and then you can see there he corrected the, the Reynolds Easy Stuffing Pan to be buy one get one free price using a store coupon, and then he voided off the original one. For coupons, I had four um, printable coupons for a dollar off St. Ives, two 75 cent band aid printable coupons, um, two dollar coupons for the lemonade, and then that buy one get one free Organic Valley printable coupon. And then I used the two extra savings booklet coupons one for three off two band aids and one for four off two tenna. And then for digitals, my late July dollar off came off, my Reynolds came off, and my two off 10 Publix perk came off. My subtotal was $44.58. I got back a total of 20, or sorry, $32.50 on Ibotta. Plus I'm gonna get a $5 Ibotta bonus for doing the midweek. I did have to correct my receipt because it didn't catch the 15 cents for the phage, but it, correct, it, it caught everything else, so I corrected that. I hit my 10 rebates and I should be getting that $32.50 plus the $5 bonus for a total of $37.50 on Ibotta. I spent $44.50. I'm getting back um, $37.50. So that's a total of what? I think $7.08. If you subtract $44.58 from $37.50, I just did that math in my head. That is absolutely amazing because I got a bunch of milk, 
Um, I got extra things like yogurt and cheese that I wanted to get just to hit my Ibotta rebate. So I'm super, super proud of this receipt. I actually did do a second transaction where I was just grabbing some things I needed, um, some random groceries that I needed. But on this transaction, I did, because my boyfriend also has an Ibotta account, I did grab the Alpha burritos again since they're a slight money maker. And I did grab the Tena pads again because those are like a gigantic money maker. So I just wanted to call that out because since those are both such great, I bought a, I bought a um, money makers when you combine the store sale, the buy one get one free, the two dollars off with the public savings booklet, and I bought an offer like just magic happened there. So I wanted to just call that out that you can definitely use those items to bring down the cost of a regular grocery transaction.